the rolling landscapes of northern Michigan, our eyes and spirits are lifted by a beautiful patchwork quilt of small farms brimming with natural beauty. Better still, these farms assure that we have fresh, locally grown greens, vegetables, fruits, and meat products in grocery stores, restaurants, and farm markets throughout our region. And you might belong to a CSA, like Providence Farm in Antrim County. CSA is, stands for Community Supported Agriculture, and um, all of our food feeds local plates or ends up on local plates, I'd like to say. We have um, a weekly box of produce that goes out from about the second or third week of June through Thanksgiving. So it's a, a total of 24 weeks. Some time ago, we joined Andrea and Ryan Romine on their porch at Providence Farm. We talked about the work of building a new organic farm that now serves hundreds of CSA subscribers, farm markets, and many businesses in Northern Michigan. It was a real struggle for many years. I've been working on other people's farms or farming for myself for almost 20 years now, or over 20. But it was a number of years of running our own business before we actually felt like we kind of crossed, a, we, we said we broke through the ceiling, you know, of actually having something for the family left over. and. Um, you know, we've, we tend to reinvest right back into the farm. With the changing climate, farmers all across northern Michigan have had to deal with more extreme temperatures, bigger storms, and less predictable weather patterns. Their minds are working to become more climate resilient, adapting to whatever comes next through conservation, flexibility, diversity, and by staying rooted in their community. I'm kind of in the direction of trying to have a, a more um, resilient farm and that's going to come through cover cropping and organic matter and um, conservation tillage, the lower inputs that I can use and still produce a crop, the better. I think a, another insurance policy that we can invoke is actually growing as many things as we do. So it's harder because there's groups of things that need special care and they all have different implements, farm implements. Farming, there's a, there's a lot of uh, anticipation of um, what's going to happen with weather and with insects. And, and it's really a matter of how resilient and how flexible can we be. I think one of the ways we deal with that is the diversity. Um, not only the diversity of plant life on the farm, but also the integration and the diversity of the livestock. I don't think we could do this if we didn't have a little tinge of rose in our glasses. You know, I, we're just, for the most part, I'm, if, if the two of us had to be labeled, I'm the rose colored glasses and he's pragmatic but with a hint of rose colored glasses, I think. Otherwise, we Depends on the do day. It. Yeah. It, 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 this is the most challenging work I've ever been a part of, and it challenges me in very many ways, including um, emotionally and spiritually and physically. Um, so, but, but it's what I do. It's what I've, I've come to love, and it's what I care about. Um, we are supported in the community by all sorts of different people. Um, from all different walks of life and it's fun to get them together and, and see that diversity. Uh, our farm staff, very diverse, all walks of life. Um, this is a place where we come together in diversity and we work together on a common good. It's the same thing with the bio system on the farm, you know, growing natural native wildflowers so we can bring in native beneficial insects that help mitigate some of these other risks. Um, allowing some areas to, to grow and be wild and the soil biodiversity, really working on getting different microbes and fungi in the soil to be biodiverse on the mic microbial level gives us resilience as well. If it wasn't for the people in our community, obviously we wouldn't be here. And I honestly feel uh, gratitude. I, I maybe 
more so because when I get go to the mailbox and open it up, there's a handwritten envelope and I open it up and there's a check inside. And these little pieces that come in the mail every once in a while in the beginning of the CSA season a lot in the spring. I I am just like, thank you. 